Are you curious about how to get started funding your graduate school education in Canada? Attending graduate school can be a great way to advance your career and learn new things. The good news is that there are several options available, especially if you don't have money to pay for it yourself. In this video, we'll highlight some sources of graduate school funding and tips on how to get funding for graduate school in Canada. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. My name is Rosalyn. We'll film videos about our life in Canada and how you can join us here. We have a couple of informative videos on this channel that we think you'll find valuable, so please check them out after you finish watching this video. We also encourage you to join the family by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new videos. Graduate school is a costly endeavor. Tuition and other associated costs can quickly add up, leaving many students without the funds necessary to cover the total cost of their studies. One way to offset this cost is to seek out funding opportunities. Many universities offer research funding opportunities through their graduate programs. It is important to keep in mind that not all funding sources are available to everyone, so it's essential to research each option carefully before applying. Some common sources of funding for graduate school in Canada include research awards. Research awards are type of financial assistance that typically comes in grants or scholarships. They are designed to help students cover the cost of conducting research, such as tuition fees, living expenses, and equipment purchases. In most cases, research awards are only available to students pursuing graduate studies. There are several different ways to find research funding in Canada. You can start by looking at the funding opportunities offered by the U15 group of Canadian research universities. We did a video on that. I'll put the link in the description below. These are schools that are dedicated to funding research projects every year. You can also search online databases of universities for information about available funding opportunities. The next source of funding opportunities available in Canada will be scholarships. Scholarships are financial assistance awarded to students who demonstrate exceptional academic merit or who have demonstrated financial need. They can come in form of grants, scholarship or fellowship and are often given to students pursuing a graduate degree. In Canada, there are a variety of scholarships available to students hoping to gain admission into a graduate program. Some scholarships may be specific to certain fields of study, while others may be open to any student who meets the eligibility requirement. It is vital to research all available scholarships before applying to maximize your chances of being awarded one. The third source of funding will be assistantship. Research and teaching assistantship are the two common forms of graduate school funding in Canada. A research assistantship is an academic appointment that allows graduate students to gain valuable research and financial support when a professor pays them for conducting research on his behalf. It typically pays a student's tuition and living expenses while completing their graduate study. This can be a great way to get started in your academic career and it can be beneficial if you have limited funds. A teaching assistantship, on the other hand, is a type of assistantship that pays you a salary for teaching duties only, typically for teaching undergraduate courses in your field of study, which can help you cover your course while in graduate school. This can be an excellent way to get your foot in the door for a career in academia, and it can also lead to permanent academic appointment. This source of funding are available at many universities across Canada. If you have found value in the video so far, please consider subscribing and click on the notification icon so that when we post new videos, you get to see them first. Drop comments too and we'll be sure to respond promptly and to the best of our knowledge. The next section of this video, we cover the tips on how you can get funding for graduate school in Canada. The first tip I have for you today, guys, is to find the right program. Before you start applying for research funding, you need to create a graduate school plan. 
This plan should outline your goals and objectives for completing your graduate studies, which can come in handy when you submit your study visa application. It will also include a detailed description of your research project. The plan aims to help you demonstrate that you are qualified to receive funding from research grant agencies. Creating a well-crafted plan will increase your chances of being awarded a grant. Tip 2 will be to choose the right university. Choosing the right university can be a daunting task. There are so many options available and it can be challenging to know where to start. The first step I would suggest is to determine your priority. Do you want large or small city? Do you want French or English speaking province? Once you have determined your preference, you can begin narrowing your options down. One of the most important factors to consider when choosing a university is affordability. Make sure that the university you choose offers affordable tuition rates. You also want to ensure that the university has an excellent academic reputation and offers good student services. Finally, make sure that the university has a robust research program. This will help you gain knowledge and experience in your field of interest, which will make you more competitive for research grant. The third tip that I've outlined today is to find a research supervisor. This is arguably the most important tip because some programs require a research supervisor before you can apply for admission to their university, while others will assign you a supervisor when you, once you have started your studies at the university. Your desired school page or program page can tell you if having a supervisor before you apply is required for your program of choice. You may be wondering, how do I find a supervisor? Some universities have websites that list their faculty members by name and field of expertise. These universities often provide information about the professor's research interest, recent publication, and conference participation. Consider your research interests and experience to see if they intersect with the potential faculty member's own. A good relationship with your supervisor will be beneficial to your success as a graduate student. Look for someone who shares your research interests, complements your research style, and will support you in achieving your academic goals. Create a short list of potential supervisors to explore further. The next step is to contact the supervisors on your list to be sure to tailor your email for each potential supervisor. Ensure that you include information about what makes you unique as a candidate, what skills or experience makes you perfect for the graduate research program, and how your research interest aligns with theirs. I would suggest you request a follow-up meeting with options for date and time. Tip number four. Gather required scholarship application documents. This will largely depend on the scholarship application requirement listed on the scholarship page. Create a compelling application package that includes letter of recommendation, transcript, and other evidence of your academic achievement. Many scholarships require applicants to have a degree from a prestigious university or demonstrate exceptional academic achievements. Some common scholarship documents include your resume, a letter of recommendation from previous professors, transcripts from all colleges and universities you have attended, two letters of reference from people that can vouch for your academic abilities, a research proposal, personal statement, past research pub or publications. The last tip I have for you guys is to make a strong case for graduate school funding and apply early. When submitting your application for graduate school funding, Make a strong case for why you should be awarded funding. Include information about your research goals and how the program will help you achieve them. Make sure you highlight your achievements in the field and any unique strengths that make you an excellent candidate for the program. Demonstrate how the graduate school program will further develop your skills and knowledge in the area of study as well as its benefits to your career path. Finally, be sure to submit all required paperwork as soon as possible so that your application can be reviewed and processed early. We would like to end this video by stating that graduate school is a time for personal growth and opportunity. We understand that it can be an expensive endeavor 
but taking advantage of the funding opportunities highlighted above will definitely help you get the funding you need to pursue a graduate school degree in Canada. By following these tips as well, you will be on your way to securing the financial support you need to complete your graduate program. So guys, sharing is caring. So feel free to share this video with anyone you think might benefit from its content. To show our appreciation for watching this video to the end, we'll be giving you a free PDF copy of the information highlighted in this video if you need something that you can reference to later on. Send us an email if you are interested in a copy of it. Our email address can be found in the description box below. Support our channel by looking at our other videos and immerse yourself with additional knowledge. Remember to stay positive and keep hope alive. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.